everybody. This is the Billy Goat Vanguard 18 horsepower Briggs and Stratton walk behind blower. I believe this is actually um, the most powerful walk behind blower that's out there. I know it's the most powerful walk behind blower that Billy Goat makes. Um, you know, Billy Goat makes a great um, line of blowers. This is the biggest, the 18 horsepower Briggs. And it, it did not come with an hour meter. I put one on. I have 155 hours on this machine. Um, I think I got it around 2013, 2014, right around there. Um, it's great for doing parking lots and um, big driveways. It's also good for doing leaves and fields too. Um, the only thing about that is, um, is whether you're using it for leaves on pavement or on um, grass, because it only blows out one side, you do have to blow in reverse once you get to the end of your line. You do have to push it backwards, which is not a big deal. Um, this blower does have the self-propelled system right here. Um, the only thing with the self-propelled, um, it's nice if you're going uphill, um, but the problem is, is that the speed is a little bit slower than what you can manually push it. So I'll use the self-propelled if I'm on grass. Um, it's only going to work in forward. Um, and I'll, or I'll use it if I'm going up a hill. But um, for, you know, pushing it fast, you know, on a parking lot, as long as you're not on a hill, it's actually easier just to manually push it. And the only thing that um, broke on this blower in 155 hours was the recoil rope had to be uh, replaced, which is normal. Um, usually it starts on the first or second pull. Usually um, the first when it's warm, second pull when it's cold. This is the choke right here. And the oil that I run in this is the Mobile One 530 synthetic oil. Um, that's what, it, you know, one of the um, types of oil that it calls for. The air filter's in here, plastic gas tank. It's a very big gas tank. Um, I can go a long time on that without having to refuel. Um, and the only other repair that I did is this front tire, actually, I had to replace. You can see it looks brand new. And, you know, after 155 hours, this does most of the steering, so that tire wore out really quick, you know, from pavement. So I replaced that tire. Um, other than that, it's a great machine. Um, but um, stay tuned. Um, soon I'm going to be... Uh, getting the Billy Goat stand on blower. So um, I'll introduce you to that and do a review of that. That thing is an absolute animal. It's gonna be a lot better for doing leaves on grass and um, surfaces where this can get very tiresome if you're pushing this on grass back and forth, forward and reverse all day long. Um, it's definitely, you know, better for pavement. However, this will blow way more leaves than a backpack blower. But if you're really doing a lot of leaves, Nothing is um, as comparable to those stand-on blowers, which were formerly the Hurricane stand-on blowers. Now Briggs bought them out, and now they are Ferris and Billy Goat. And also, eventually, we'll be reviewing the Steel BR-800C side start blower. So that'll be coming up. And I want to thank all my subscribers, um, 523 subscribers to be exact, um, for following the snowmobile videos that I've done and also the uh, videos that I have on the Honda snowblowers. And I'm glad you guys like this content. And if you have any comments or questions, let me know. And if you want to see more Honda snowblower videos or Polaris snowmobile videos, just comment and let me know.